for say they be, we must be getting every way. Though it by, by evil means, right? Because what idols, there's gain in it. Money, okay? That's why they're formed, because there's money to be made. Okay? For, for this man that of earthly matter making brittle vessels and graven images, nerve himself to offend above all others and all enemies of thy people that hold him in subjection, a most foolish, a most miserable, very babe. So people that bad earthly think they're miserable. If there's no hope in these things, they did things, right? They don't have life, right? And it says, for they counted all their idols of the heathen to be gods which neither have use of eyes to see, nor noses to draw breath, nor ears to hear, nor fingers or hands to handle. And as for their feet, they are slow to go, right? For man made them and he that borrowed, borrowed, slacker, and he that borrowed his own spirit, fashioned them, right? Because our spirits, who are they borrowed by? You have a shirt, okay? But a man make a power like unto himself for being mortal. Mortal means liable to what death. He working for death. Thing with, with wicked hands. For he himself is better than the things which he worship. Okay, worship him. Whereas he lived once but may never. Yet they worship those beasts also. They are most hateful for being compared together. Some are worse than others. Neither are they beautiful, so much as they desired in respect of beasts. Okay? But they went without the praise of the Most High and His blessing. So what? These things are idols, right? They have no use, Ben. No use, right? Now we're gonna to go to Acts, Baba Kasha. Right? Idols has always been the downfall of our nation. Let's go to Acts. Bear me just a minute. This is Acts 17. And let's go straight to 16. Right? Now, while Paul, okay, waiting for them at Athens, his spirit was stirred in him. Who was he waiting for? Silas and Timotheus. Right? And it says his heart, his spirit was stirred in him. In other words, he was, um, quite vexed with what he saw. He was unpleased, right? And it says, when he saw the city, Wally, okay, Wally, given to idolatry, right? So yeah, it was given to idolatry, given over to idolatry. Athens, this is what, Greek, right? And different regions of what, Macedon. They were given to what idolatry, counterfeit imagery, temples, Diana, okay, and so forth. All these different idols, they're not even worthy to say their name. I shouldn't even be mentioning their name, right? Therefore disputed he in the synagogue with the Jews and with devout persons and in the market daily with them that met him. Yeah, he was disputing. Who was going back and forth? Okay, with those that were giving himself over to what? Idols, within these temples. Okay. When certain philosophers of the Epicureans, right? Philosophers. So they were, yeah, they were into philosopher. Philosophy. Right? Trying out new things. Right? 
In other words, they were very, um, there's another word for it, they were skepticism. They, were, they dealt with skepticism, right? They dealt with what? Trial and error, right? And the Epicureans and Stoics, the Epicureans were those that were given to the flesh. They were more of the flesh, feeding the flesh. The Stoics were more disciplined, right? The Stoics were more disciplined. Okay, they might they had a more strict regimen, right? Encountered him and some said, what will this babbler say unto Paul? Right? So some are mocking and say, this this guy is just this is just empty talk. They saw Paul was just, just babbling. Right? And it says, other some, he seems to be a set of forth of strange gods. Why? Because they were used to what? Having different gods, different idols. So they saw it as Paul was coming, teaching another god, or gods, should I say, right? And it says, bear me just a minute. Because he preached unto them Yahushua and the resurrection. So what was Yahushua, it's like, what was Paul reasoning with them on? The scriptures, out of the scriptures, right? And it says, and they took him and brought him. Give me just a minute. And this was our, but this was Israelites. And it shows you our people were in a different way of life, right? And they brought him unto Ariagapogos, Ariagapogos, right? I forgot what that region means. I believe it was somewhere in Macedon. I need to look it up again. Saying, may we know what this new doctrine, where of that speakers is, right? So they were, um, like I said, they were very curious. And remember, they were into curious arts. They were into all different philosophies. Right? For that thing is strange. Things to our ears. So they were very curious. What what was Paul speaking of? What power was he speaking of? That's why it says they bring very strange things to our ears. We would know wherefore what these things mean. Okay. For all the Ath Athenians, Athenians, and strangers, which were there, spent their time in nothing else. And where were they? It was called the Agora, the marketplaces. That's where they would go back and forth and discuss different ideas, different philosophies. And get, I believe today, that modern day, that main modern day, Mars Hill, that modern day, Mars Hill is definitely, um, I believe it's 33rd, not 33rd Street, some of it, what, 34th Street? It may be. Some of them places in New York. I believe in that's Mars Hill. I believe in New York is Mars Hill. Because what, you got all these different, what, black? Unconscious, they're what, the five percenters, right? The five percenters, Nation of Islam. You got all of them debating. Okay, New Arbianism. I believe New York, <laughs> that is Mars Hill, right? That's definitely Mars Hill, right? Harlem, I believe that's Mars Hill, okay? And it says, bear me just a minute, or to hear, either to tell, or to hear something new. To tell what? A story, a fable. Where do you think these fables come from? Where do you think the poetry comes from? Where do you think the art comes from? Where do you think the movies come from? They all come from Greece, right? It all comes from Greece, okay? And I've got a thing, um, I've got a few things, I've got a lot by the spirit and power of Yahweh Shai, if he allows me. I've got a lot of things planned for the Akiyam, a lot of interesting videos to do, right? Baba Kashai, if the Lord permits me. And it says, Rempel stood in the midst of Mars, midst of Mars Hill, okay, which was a particular region. Right? And said, ye men of Athens, 
I perceive that in all things you are too superstitious. Okay? So they were very, very superstitious. Right? So today, you know, you got people that believe in the, the tooth fairy. When your teeth drops out. When I was younger, my parents taught me that. When your teeth, when your teeth drops out, you put it under the bed. Then the tooth fairy will um, give you a pound. Right? I actually used to believe that. Even with Christmas, I used to think Christmas would... Santa would um, break through and give the... I used to believe that for a little while. See, that's, that's fables. Right? It's not real. It's fables. Okay? These are all fables. Right? And that goes back to Christmas. It really goes back to a Jake. His name was Saint Nicholas. Right? And he used to give what? Gifts to what? The poor. Right? And he was born in Russia. But that's another topic. But all these are what? Fables. Right? And that's why you've got to be able to separate reality, the truth, from lies. Right? And now people believe in these things. Okay? It's fables. Okay? So where was we? We're on verse 23. For I passed by and beheld your devotions. Right? What was the devotions? The devotions were what? The idols. What people devote themselves to. Right? And it says, I found an altar with an inscription. Okay? The inscription is a title. That's the inscription. Alright? And it says, to the unknown power. So, Right, see, Satan's, Satan's getting upset. Okay. With an inscription. So that inscription, it was of Yahvashai, that inscription. Okay. That inscription was of Yahvashai. Okay. With an inscription, the writing on it. So they had different inscriptions of different gods. Right? This is how much they were dedicated to different idols. Right? Bear me just a minute. To the unknown power, whom therefore ye ignorantly worship. That's why the scripture says in Romans 10, they have a zeal, but it's not according to knowledge. Right? Bear me just a minute. Yeah, people have a zeal, but it's not according to the knowledge of Yahweh Yabashai. Okay? It's not according the truth. Okay. Where was we? Bear me just a minute. Him I declare unto you. So what do you think Paul was doing? Declaring, it's getting slightly more brighter now. He was declaring Yahabashai unto them. Because remember they were living in a different way of life. Right? And it says the Most High that made the world and all things therein, seeing that is Lord of heaven, ruler of heaven, and earth dwelleth not in temples, made with hands. Why? Because the devotions were in these temples, right? That's where they were what? Devoting themselves to these temples, and not just the temples, the idols within the temples, right? Neither is worship with men's hands, right? As though he needed anything, seeing he giveth to all life, right? Because they were making sacrifices to these idols. So Paul was saying, neither had need of anything made with hands. Because he formed everything, okay? And it says, seeing he giveth life and breath in all things, right? And have made one, made of one blood of all nations, okay? Of men for to dwell on the face of the earth. And have determined the times before appointed, bear me just a minute. And have determined the times appointed. Okay. 
and bounds of their habitation. Where they should seek the Lord, if happily they might fall after him and find him, though he be not far from every one of us. So Paul was letting them know, look, I'm teaching you the power, he's near to you. You just got to receive it. Yeah? And it says, But in him we live. Right? In who? Yahweh Shai. Right? In him we live. Bear just a minute. And move and have and bear this and have our being. In other words, life. As certain. Also of your own poets. So as I told you, there was poets. The most of the poets came from Greece. Right? Even the alphaletics, where did it where did that stem from? Greece. That's why you got something called the Athenians, the Athenians League. And what do you got on the Athenians League with some of these um, football players? You got what? The Morse head. Right? A lot of it goes back to Greece. Okay? And it says, have said, for we are his, his offspring. Okay? So they were acknowledge acknowledging, yeah, they were the offspring of what? Yeah, I'm sure. Right? They, in other words, they were Israelites. Okay? But as much then as we are offspring of the Most High, we not ought to think that the Most, the Godhead is like unto the, unto gold. Godhead means the divine. He's like unto gold. He's not like unto gold. Right? Or silver. Or stone. Graven by arts and a man's device. So you can't compare some mere stone or goat to Yahweh He's a living power. Okay. Excuse me.